hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing now before i get started today i just wanted to mention that look fantastic i've got a valentine's day edit out at the moment it costs 55 pounds i think it's worth over 171 if you're a look fantastic subscriber you can get 10 pounds off and they'll probably have sent you an email with the code but it's probably the same for everyone else so i'll see if i can pop it in the description below I got mine yesterday and I really rather liked it. The packaging was lovely the way it opened and the contents looked really nice inside too. So I'm going to try those out in the next day or so and video that and get that out to you as well soon. But on to today's box because I do need to get a move on with this one. It's from Latest in Beauty and it's the fabulous What's Hot 2023 cost £36 but it's worth over £200 they say. Delivery charges are extra but if you're a Lib Pro subscriber you will get delivery free plus 15% off. Now I got £5 off with the code FABHOT5OFF although that was only supposed to be I think until mid-January. I did check it this morning though and it did work so fingers crossed if you do try and use it if you want the box it will still work and um, I'm going to put this video out today if I can so hopefully it should be there and they say this box is packed with some of the products we think should be on your shopping list this year and there are 10 products in all now there is a leaflet but it's only got limited information on so I have had to go to the brand's websites as well now the first product in here is by Mina and it's the oil drops defense it's 15 mils it's got an rrp of 17 pounds but it's currently on offer on the brand's website for eight pounds 50 and they list the best of this product in three points they say it protects and regenerates delicate skin moisturizes dry skin energizes and tones dull complexions they don't really go into too much detail on the ingredients but i have had a look there's a list of ingredients including things like coconut oil avocado oil apricot kernel oil and quite a few more ingredients on there and they say you can use it on its own or before primer now i haven't got it on today because i don't tend to like using oils under makeup it's just one of those things that also sometimes makes me feel like i've got just too much on especially if you're using things like spf primers foundation moisturizer the whole lot but i have used it the last couple of days when i haven't been wearing makeup and it is a nice enough oil actually i'm not oils aren't my favorite skincare thing generally speaking um because i don't like it sometimes they do feel a bit too much on my skin and a bit sticky and a bit itchy and this one's not so bad it, when i first put it on i thought i'm not going to like it because it does feel you can see it just feels really oily but it does sort of melt into your skin quite well so it didn't feel heavy at all and it was okay and the smells okay too it smells it reminds me of something i've no idea what i don't know whether it's another skincare product but it smells slightly vanilla with a, a bit of an odd background smell but not particularly unpleasant it's okay it's quite a nice smell for an oil some of them smell a little bit too herbally for my liking so it's an all right sort of product but i'm not a hundred percent sure whether i'm going to keep it or not i might do i might use it on non-makeup days i need to do a proper stop stock check of all my products which i haven't done since christmas um and then decide which i'm going to keep and which i'm going to pass on to friends and family but this one is a contender to stay in my routine my hands are a little bit oily now so i'm going to end up just covering the mouse with oil but let's just try anyway um not try to cover it with oil you know what i mean the next product is by i'm meant to be doing this quickly i am not going to succeed am, am i i can tell it's by skin proud and it's the Recharge Retinol Serum 0.5%. It's 25 mils and it's available for £13.95 on the brand's website. And they say, working through the night, this lightweight serum blends hyaluronic acid, bacuchiol and retinol to help even skin tone and promote surface cell removal, helping to lift dead skin cells so that you wake up glowing. And it also contains calming rosehip oil. So to use this one, I'll show you what it looks like. 
you apply one to two pumps to the face before moisturiser as part of your nightly skincare routine. Do not use with other retinoid treatments and avoid unprotected sun exposure. So I have given this one a go um, the last couple of nights. Let me just roll my worn a tight sleeve jumper, which wasn't a very good idea really today. This is what it looks like. And it does blend in really nicely. And as I say, I've used it the last couple of nights. There is a bit of a smell to it. It's like a, I'm not sure. It's not a, not a bad smell. It's, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like it. But it's not a bad smell. Um, I have used it the last couple of nights. I normally use retinol products as part of my nightly routine anyway, but on my forehead area, I've been using them for a while now. The first one I had was amazing, but it was quite pricey. So I haven't really bought that one. I've just used ones that I've got in boxes and I'm not sure I've ever found anything quite as good as that one was. Um, so I'll be very interested to see what this is like. The good thing about this is I did manage to use it all over my face, not just my forehead. I often avoid doing that with retinol, but I thought I'll give it a go. And it was quite a nice product to use all over so that's going to be interesting to see if it actually does anything not just to my forehead but to my other lines and things it'd be nice to see if it does okay the next item is by doctor's formula although it always i, I never understand this because everyone says it's doctor's formula but it's doctor's cosmeceutical on all the packaging isn't it but anyway it's the original time reverse serum with marine collagen it's 30 mils and it's available for 105 pounds on the brand's website and they say this is a lightweight superior serum using a collagen amino acid complex which is hygroscopic it absorbs moisture from the air to enhance the retention effect of moisture in the skin skin flexibility is increased resulting in deeply conditioned and more youthful looking skin and it does mention that it contains retinol as well now it mentions it more on the website than it does on the packaging here on this packaging it's only in the, the tiny writing so it says to use it you smooth a pea-sized amount in gent gentle circular motions onto the skin every morning and evening after cleansing prior to moisturising and it does advise a patch test prior to use so I have given it a go now because I noticed that it did contain retinol I didn't really want to use it at the same time as that other product so I used this in the daytime instead it is quite an interesting one it's more of a gel type serum she says putting it on top of another retinol product there I'll pop it on here and um it does blend in nicely yeah, it smells like i don't know whether you've ever used the primer photo face i think they've rebranded it it used to call uh be called something else i can't remember what it was but i think it's called photo face now by them and it does smell like that um so i have used it again it's only been a couple of days use i used it with that oil actually and the two together work seem to work quite well i used I think this one first then the oil so I'm gonna, i think i'm going to give it a go actually and see what it's like i'm not sure like i said i've got to do a stock take so it really does come down to what i decide i want to keep trying or not i can't tell you the results at this early stage but i'm kind of interested to try it i think anyway the next item is a facial sheet mask so there are a few options that you might get. They're all by Beauty Pro. So you can either get the vitamin C one, the Seeker plus ni niacinamide one, a retinal one or a hyaluronic acid one. So that's the one I got, which is the one I wanted, to be honest with you. Now, I couldn't find the exact one of this on the brand's website. They did have a similar one, but it was a gold sheet mask. So I did find this one on Superdrug and they had it at £4.99 and they said that this mask uses natural soybean and chamomile to powerfully lock in moisture and provide the skin with deep nourishment. It also helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and to use it you apply to clean skin for 15 minutes. So I've used this this morning and it was absolutely jam packed 
with serum it's absolutely it's still sopping wet with serum it has got a smell to it it's kind of like a gentle um clean sort of smell almost like a baby cleaning product like shampoo or bubble bath or i'm not sure i recognize it from something but i'm not sure but it's clean smelling anyway um took a while after use so it's just like a normal sheet mask it took me a while to open it out actually because there was so much serum in it then put it on for 15 minutes face felt fine no reactions or any tingling or anything like that just perfectly fine when i took it off there was loads of serum obviously on my face I, it took a while to soak in even after sort of massaging it in it took a good five minutes or so so it was a you need a bit of time is what I'm trying to say there. I liked it. It was a nice enough product to use. And yet yeah, my skin feels reasonably okay this morning. Okay, the next product I am looking for. Oh, I know where I put it there. It's by Avida and it's the Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In Treatment. So this is 25 mils. The brand have it on their website for £12. They say a multi-benefit leave-in treatment that instantly strengthens, repairs and helps to protect against damage for stronger hair from the inside out. It's formulated to reduce frizz, detangle, smooth and condition and build new bonds, all while, protect, all whilst protecting against heat up to 230 degrees. So you apply it through damp hair, no need to rinse obviously. Um, I did try this out a couple of days ago now. <clears throat> I'm not overly keen on the smell. Mm, it's quite, as you would expect, I guess, sort of herbally type smell. Yeah, a little bit medicinal for me, that sort of smell. So I don't like the smell, but I did try it out. And do you know what? It actually did. I was surprised because it did make my skin feel softer that day. And I have been moaning my skin has been really dry lately because it has been and that did make a difference and it was easy to use very simple to use didn't have to faff about with it too much so i'm quite happy with this one or at least i was very happy with this one until i tried the next one which is by it's a 10 And it's the Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. So this is 60 mils and it's available for £13.50 on the brand's website. And they say smooth, sleek and strong are all simpler than ever thanks to the essential conditioners and effortless spritz on application of this lightweight, deliciously smelling product which penetrates deep into the hair shaft to rebuild dry, brittle and damaged hair from the inside out. That was a long sentence. Hair's most important nutrient, keratin, is a powerhouse of revitalisation and strength and this can be used straight out of the shower as a detangler or as a heat protectant spray. No matter your hair type, this restores and locks in moisture while strengthening replenishing and replenishing lost protein. So to use it, you shampoo, condition as normal and then towel dry your hair, spray all over your hair and comb through. And I've given this a go this morning and I really rather like it. First of all, the smell's a little bit better than the other one. Well, a lot better for me. Um, I'm going to spritz, so I'll just spritz, ooh, come everywhere. spritz it on my arm like that. I don't know whether you can see, probably not. And have a little sniff. Oh yes, that's lovely smelling. It's just a beautiful, fresh hair smelling kind of product. And again, it was really simple to use. Spritzed it on, combed it through. I did dry my hair with a, a hair dryer afterwards, but it does feel a lot smoother and softer. I mean, it's still not, my hair's still not 100%, but it's definitely on its way to being better. This side feels really, really soft, actually. Really soft. Um, this side's getting there. So I'm really very happy with this. Now, because I've had two leaving conditioners in this box, which, to be honest, is a little bit irritating, but never mind. Um, I'll probably be giving one of them away. And my favourite is this one. So this one will probably go to someone else. OK, the next item is for hair as well. 
and it's all I was going to show you the one I've already got but here is the new one the pristine one it's by Percy and Reed and it's oh my shine and fragrance spray it's 50 mils and available for 12 pounds on the brand's website they say our hair perfume and glossing mist is the best shine spray for all hair types the lightweight formula delivers particle shine giving instant luminosity to the hair it features our bespoke floral blend with uplifting notes of rhubarb, rose, peony and honey to delicately fragrance the hair. And it also defends hair from damaging UV rays to keep colour bright and glossy. So this is actually my go-to hair shine product. I've had it a few times, well quite a lot of times before, and I've had it a few times lately. So I've got one, I think this is actually, I did have a little check and this is my last one. So it's good to get a backup, although this is pretty much nearly full. Um, what I'm going to do, I haven't got it on because I kind of wanted to show you what my hair was like with just this in. Um, I'm going to pause. I could do it on video, but it'll probably go everywhere but my hair. So I'm going to pause, put it on and come back, see if you can notice a difference. So have a little look at my hair now and I'll come back and see if it looks any different. So here we go. I don't know whether it does, to be honest. It did, in the natural light, look shinier. So I don't know whether you can tell so much in the video. But it does smell nice as well. This is what the spray is like. Very fine. Gone everywhere else. But yeah, I love this one. And I do think it makes a difference. I don't know whether you can tell now, but I can't see very well without the glasses. There we go. Um, the next item is one that I really, really love, and it's only a little thing, but it's one of my favourite types of things. It's Green Nail Polish in Cosmic Rose. I'm just going to shift in a bit, actually. Um, it's available from various online suppliers with an RRP of £14. Latest in Beauty says featuring a nine-free formula that's made with up to 84% bio-sourced ingredients. This vegan and cruelty-free nail polish offers a highly pigmented colour with a shiny finish. Cosmic Rose is an iridescent pink shade with a silver undertone. So that's kind of what it looks like in the back. You can see it better without the label on the front, can't you? Um, and this is what it looks like. There's the brush. It's a decent brush to use, actually. I quite like these brushes. And obviously, I've got it on my nails today. So I don't know whether you can see. It does look quite rosy on there, I think, doesn't it? It's very sort of ro very pale pink, silvery. In night light, it kind of looks more silver. And pink but in daylight it looks a little bit more pinky and in this light I'm thinking it looks a bit more pinky as well so I do rather like that it's a lovely lovely colour I think it will go well with maybe another colour as well to complement it so I'm really really happy with that one okay the next item is by Revolution and it's the 5D Whip Lift Mascara I'll take it out of the box actually. It's on the brand's website for £9.99. There we go. And they say introducing Revolution's best mascara yet for long lifted lashes, no salon needed. The expertly designed brush has a unique twisted vortex shape that grabs every lash from the root and directs it upwards to give the ultimate lifted look. The Ultra Black Ink formula is created for long-lasting results that means no smudging, no crumbling and absolutely no dropping throughout the day. So I have given it a go. I have got it on now. This is what the brush actually looks like. So it's quite a thick looking one. Um, and I've gone more to preferring the long thin ones now, which is amazing because I need, always used to hate them. It is a decent enough mascara. This is one coat and it did coat plenty enough for me, for my liking. Um, so I'll come in and show you. I don't know whether you can see very well. Um, so for me, I prefer those ones that do the, the more lighter look that you can build on. This one gives you quite a fullish look straight away. I imagine if I put another coat on that, it'd be really, really full. And it felt like it sort of brought the lashes together. It makes them look very full, is what I would say. 
so it's probably doing what it wants to do um, I'm not sure it's my favorite kind of mascara but I think lots of people will love it okay the next item is by Makeup Academy or MUA M -U -A, and it is the Satin Sheen Lip Stylo so the shades on this will vary you might not get this one you can get these from the brand's website for £3.50 and the shade I have is called Love Letter. The brand says this stunning satin sheen formula with intensely rich pigments leaves a moisturised but full coverage lip look. And they describe Love Letter as being a coral pink. So I'm not sure it's really my colour but I'm not, I don't know, I'm going to give it a go. I'll show you what it looks like first. So it comes like this, which I quite like these sorts of lip um, products that do that um, they're not quite as easy necessarily to put on but it might be so I'm going to pause put it on and see what we think I've got a feeling I'm not going to like it but you never know I'll be back in a second so it's not too bad it's not really me it's not as quite as bright as I thought it would be though so I'll just show you what it does look like on my arm as well it's not quite as right as I thought it would be um, I'm not sure whether I like it or not I think I need a lip brush to put it on with and I didn't have one with me so um, yeah I think next time I'll try it with a lip brush it's okay it's not as bad as I thought okay what do you think of the box it's a, a, a quite, I do like the box there are a couple of points I guess that um, I'm not too sure about so first of all the oil that's nice to try I do quite like it and I may keep it and I think yeah I think it would go on a non-makeup day it just depends what else I've got um, ready to be used um, then we had the two sort of serum-y type things didn't we which were actually slightly similar in the in the fact that they both had retinol um, this one I definitely like to I think I'm definitely going to keep this one and try it out to see because of the price point as well if it's a good one and it works that's really good to know then we've got the doctor's formula one which i'm not 100 percent sure about i don't know why um but i may end up passing that one on okay the next one the next two that i'm a little bit we got the two leave-in conditioners which is fine i know at this time of year especially with me my hair is is dry and needs things like this needs products but I could have done with just one of them in the box really um, so I'll probably pass this one on and keep this one I love this one um, then we have the shine product which I'd be happy to get that any any day of the week really we have the mask which I do like a good mask I love a sheet mask so happy with that and that would be the one out of all the ones that you could choose from well you couldn't choose the ones that you could be given that's the one I would choose to have um, then we had the nail varnish which is beautiful love 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 that so that's really good we have the mascara which it's okay not my favorite but it's okay I'll see um, I don't know what to do about this one actually because I don't normally pass mascaras on but I've just got a feeling I'm not going to use this one so I'll see I'll see if anyone wants to I've only used it the once I know you shouldn't share mascaras at all but maybe they could use a different spoolie um, and then finally we've got the lipstick which is actually not too bad so all together then there were 10 products one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. is that right yeah 10 so I mean it's a decent box to have I think the price is really good and if you do get your 15% off if you're a lib um, pro subscriber and your free delivery it's definitely worth it I think especially if you could get the five pound off as well on top of that I don't know whether you can or not but it would certainly be worth it then it's a nice box I like it a lot I'm glad I got it um, even my favorite thing though it's always the same isn't it it's the nail varnish i love the nail varnish but i love the conditioner the spray um yeah it's a it's a nice box i hope you enjoyed the unboxing 
and I hope you come back for some more soon so hopefully I'll be doing the the Valentine's one from Look Fantastic very soon and also I have got my cohorted boxes come through although I think that actually sold out because it's a Wren one um, just featuring the brand Wren which is always probably quite popular isn't it so that's not available anymore but I will still film that I think I have got glossy box which I haven't filmed I've had it for a while but I wasn't in the mood for filming very much last weekend so it's kind of been put to the back because I know everybody else films it anyway so there's lots of videos out there if you are interested still might do it just to show you what I thought of the products but I'm not sort of rushing to do that one so hopefully though you will be back for more soon and I hope you enjoyed it today in the meantime take lots of care of yourself I'm going to pass loads of positive vibes on I'm starting to feel much better now we're sort of over halfway through January that always helps me and so hopefully you're feeling great wherever you are too take lots of care and I'll see you soon bye bye